Hello boys and girls, welcome back. I'm so excited to be with you today. You may be wondering why I'm wearing this adorable little hat and this fancy jewelry. Well, what you may not realize because sometimes staying at home makes all the days run together. But this weekend, we would be celebrating all the March birthdays. So I am here to still continue that tradition and I wanna wish all of our March birthday babies a very happy birthday. I hope you were spoiled this month. And if not, well, maybe we can think of some fun ideas that we can do to celebrate all the birthdays that we didn't get to celebrate together when we get back to church. Because real soon, we will get back to church. So boys and girls, I asked some of your parents to share with me some of the things that you guys have been doing when you were home, and I was so excited to hear from some of you. I've actually got some here. Let's see, our friend Kalia, she's been working on lots of schoolwork. I'm sure all of you have been. She's been creating a poster for an SPCA contest. That's interesting, Kalia. You'll have to let us know how that goes. She's also been reading a book, The Unicorn Quest, The Secret in the Stone. Her brother, Elias, he's been enjoying reading lots of ebooks and practicing math. He's also been building any and every vehicle with Legos and magnetic wood blocks. I bet you're really good at making those things, Elias. Some of our other friends, let's see. Um, we've got Luke, Eliana, Eric, and Cody. They've been doing chalk art on sidewalks. They've been making Fruit Loop necklaces. Now, did you guys eat the Fruit Loops after you made the necklaces? Hmm, I bet you did. They wrote letters, they've been, or excuse me, they've been practicing letters and numbers, and they've been playing video games. That sounds fun. Let's see. Um, Gavin, he's been doing math. Um, Emery's been doing science and she learned about mice. Zane, he's been watching movies, Transformers and Hook. He's also been playing with Mr. Potato Head. That's just some of the things our friends have been doing while we've been home. Will you guys share with me what you've been doing? All your friends miss you. All your teachers miss you too. Oh, we just love you guys so much. We meet every week and we pray for you guys. We try to come up with fun things you can do while you're stuck at home. But are we really stuck? I think we're blessed to be at home with our families. What a wonderful time for us to show love. Wait, I think some of your teachers actually spoke about showing love. Have any of you done anything extra special for anybody at home to show that you love them? If you have, please, please, please let me know. I would love to hear all that you guys are doing. I miss you guys so much. So I want to read a story to you today. I found these cute little books. I'd never seen them before. It's my little book of Dear God Letters. This one is a real friend is someone who takes time to listen to you. Oh, I have amazing friends that listen to me. Hopefully you guys do too. Let's read this together. Let's see. Dear God, do something. Have you ever been a bully? A bully is someone who picks on you, teases you, or calls you names. Most bullies are just plain mean. But being unkind to a bully doesn't help either. If you really want to teach a bully a lesson, you should be nice. Whew, that might be hard, huh? God says that showing kindness and love to your enemy will discourage any mean person's ways. God wants us to love everybody, even bullies. Here's a scripture you guys can research. It says, if your enemy is hungry, give him bread to eat. And if he is thirsty, give him water to drink. For doing so will heap coals of fire on his head and the Lord will reward you. That's Proverbs 25 verses 21 through 22. Hmm. Let's see what else someone wrote in. Dear God, it's good to have team spirit. Woo woo, team spirit. We love that. But I'm bummed out about losing the big game. If you give your best effort and please God with your actions, it's more important than winning or losing. Both teams want to win, but it's important to keep a good attitude 
whether you win or lose. If you win, don't be proud. If you lose, be sure to congratulate the other team and recognize their victory. Whether you win or lose, God wants you to keep working hard to give all of your to give your all and to remain joyful. Here's a scripture you can read for that one. The Lord ga- the Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. May the name of the Lord be praised. Now you may be thinking, hmm, those two letters don't apply to me because I'm at home and I'm with my family. But let's think about that for a second. How many of you have ever been mean to a sister or a brother? Yeah, some of you might have. How many of you have been really, really disappointed or even gotten angry because you lost a game? Or been super excited and started to dance around and almost tease somebody when you beat them at a game? Yeah, some of you might have done that too. But now, being home together and really only having everybody in your household or even your neighborhood be the only ones you come in contact with, this is the perfect time for you to start practicing being nice to people who may be mean to you or maybe not being so proud or so upset that you lost a game. Maybe if you lose, you can say, good job, that was great. Or maybe if you win, you can say, you know what? Let's try again. The more we do it, the better you're gonna get. We always have an opportunity to lift somebody up and God wants us to do that. We've kind of talked all week about loving people and how we can love them in different ways and how we can love them differently. So still, boys and girls, I encourage you to take those opportunities and love the people you're with in a whole new way. Let's pray. Jesus, I just thank you for everyone listening today, God. I just thank you for the opportunity to still be able to reach them in their homes. And God, I just thank you that your word means the same no matter where we're hearing it whether we're hearing it in our church building whether we're hearing it in our home bible studies whether we are reading the bible on our own god your word is the same today tomorrow and forever and jesus we thank you for that and god i just pray that while we're home and with we're when we're with our brothers and sisters all day long god i just pray that you give us unique ways to love them We thank you and we praise you for everything you are. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, boys and girls, that's it for today. But guess what? We'll be back next week with three more episodes of our CM Lunch Break. Bye!